Now we're moving on to exercise 8a on page 207 of Getting to Know ArcGIS Desktop, updated for version ArcGIS 9.3. Today we'll be identifying, selecting, and hyperlinking features uh, using an existing map, of course, 8a. So as you see here, we are deviating slightly from the African uh, project we did in chapter 7 and we'll be looking at um, at uh, housing in uh, California so first you open open your data and we want to first use the identify tool which is part of the tool toolbar go ahead and click identify and just go ahead and select a a square, a polygon. This is a house, a parcel uh, by Heather, owned by Heather McGonagall. And these are the attributes for that polygon. The ID, it's a polygon, owner's name, the address, uh, some other things. Does it have a pool? No. Number of bathrooms, uh, the square feet, and the asking price. And you'll see here that this also has an image. If you click on it, an image will appear. We'll be seeing more of that later. If you keep the identify table open, go ahead and click on some other polygons. You'll see um, their attributes in the same table. So here's uh, one by one by a Cruz Luna, uh, which is not for sale. Here's another one by Gail Brandeis, which is for sale, and it does have a pool, but unfortunately no picture. Now we'll go ahead and s set some of these selection at, uh, options. First you can set selectable layers. If we wanted to we could also let uh, the streets uh, layer and the other par parcels layer to be selectable. We will go ahead and leave those closed. Um, also, under options, you can change uh, some things like the, uh, the selection tolerance, which is set at zero. We'll keep it at zero, um, and the selection method also will be the same. If you go to the, again to the selection uh, menu, and this is step ten, you can. Um, point to interactive selection method and you see it's set to add to current selection. So now go ahead and and click on the select features tool in the toolbar and you can uh, find the eight corner lots because for example you are a realtor and you have a client who wants to buy a house and they say I want a house on the corner of a block very specific then you can go ahead and find all of them. Uh, it should be eight. Did I find them all? One, two. No, I see in the bottom left-hand corner number of features selected seven. So I'm missing one. Uh, there it is. There we go. Now I have eight selected. If I were to accidentally select one, oops, uh, <laughs> I, that's not a corner one. Go ahead and go to selection, interactive selection method remove from s current selection and if you click on it again it will remove okay but now we want to see uh, our selections like you normally do right click on neighborhood parcels um, open attribute table and uh, you'll see that this is the attribute table for the entire poly the entire layer and uh, some of them are selected those eight that I've selected are in blue like this quite in uh, uh, instead of showing all, show just selected, and you'll see all the houses. And that was uh, step 13, 14 of the exercise. You can also, you know, uh, look at the sales prices, sort descending, it's the most expensive one, uh, number of bedrooms, and just in one table you can. Uh, you can you can look at uh, uh, 
different attributes of each house for sale, including one of them has a pool. We'll go ahead and uh, select that. Uh, say this one looks most most interesting for us. And as you see, when you select it, it also turns yellow in the um, in, in Arc Map. Go ahead and close the table, attribute table, and you'll also see that uh, the yellow selection goes away. Now we want to clear the selected features. Um, so you can do that. You can just go to the selection menu and uh, clear selected features, and all the selections go away. In uh, in step uh, 18, go ahead and double click neighborhood parcels. And here you can uh, set some other properties. Uh, in display, we want to make sure that hyperlinks is clicked on and that you've selected image uh, to for the hyperlinks. And click OK. Now this is the hyperlink tool in the toolbar. Go ahead and uh, activate that. As you see, some of the uh, some of the houses are are selected in blue. Those are the polygons that have uh, that have hyperlinks. So if you click on it, you'll see the hyperlink, which is an image of that house. Or you can go to another one this one and you'll see the different houses that have hyperlinks another way of finding let's say that you know an exact address of a house that you want to view or to uh, inspect you can find it by using the find tool in the toolbar click on the find tool and uh, this, this uh, window will open up if you know specifically what you're looking for, you can type in, for example, an address. It's in this example, it's 831 Washington Street. And you know that this can be found in uh, the neighborhood parcels. And the field is, let's see, probably oh, something like street name. It's, oh, address it's called. Let's see, there it is, address. And click find. Well, that's it. That's the one you're looking for. If you click on it once, you'll see this flashes. Um, and if you right-click and select Identify, another window will open. And that is um, all the details on, on, this, on this house. And that's all that we're doing for exercise 8A. Just to review, we made a few things such as selecting using the select tool, the identify tool. Uh, we selected by using the select features tool. And we uh, used the hyperlink to view hyperlinks. And lastly, we used the find tool. Once you finish this, move on to exercise 8B.